This is Okanagan Harvest Cake. Moni Schiller doesn't mind if you call her nuttier than a fruit cake because she'd like to be known as the fruit cake queen. That's right. I want to become the fruit cake queen. So of course I encourage people to call me nuttier than a fruit cake. Cut the dates with the scissors. That's what I do at home. Okay. And the apples I just do with a knife. But you have to be nutty to be baking fruit cakes in July. Well, in a kitchen with no air conditioning. <laughs> so yes, it's a, it's quite a, a labor of love. Why fruit cakes? The reason I started was because I used to make fruit cake and give it to people as gifts. And then people started to tell me that they were actually hiding the fruit cake from family members. So, because it was good, because it was so good. So I thought, well, why not? I'll make fruit cake and sell it to people. That's the cooked fruit, which we now have in the bowl, ready to go. Now comes the part that makes any fruit cake edible: chocolate. I thought fruit cake was for Christmas. Well, I also make a product called Totally Decadent Fruit Cake. But for this, the Okanagan Harvest Cake, I found uh, winery gift stores like to carry this because it's nice for tourists to take as a little um, souvenir of the Okanagan. How many fruit cakes do you think you've made? Um, well, last Christmas I sold a thousand. And I had some left over. I probably had 1,500 last year. And this year I hope to make double that. It's a lot when you look at it and it's like childbirth, you forget about it. <laughs> now it just now needs to be mixed. Mix, mix. mix and mix, mix and mix. There's no way you can make, you know, do this commercially and have it taste like really homemade. Here they are. Eat oh, the great. <laughs> now do you put them all out in a row? I do. One batch makes how many cakes? Seven. Seven cakes? Mm -hmm. Seven wee little tiny little laboriously <laughs> sweated over cakes. Yeah, that's it. You so, are nutty. I know. I am amazed at the amount of work. I know. You that's see those little, little fruit cakes and you think, well, it's not it's nothing to it. Fruit cakes. Okay, these look ready to come out. Person by person, my goal is to make fruit cake lovers out of fruit cake haters. There's a lot oh. of people in Canada. It'll take a while. <laughs> it's not going to be quick. Okay, now rumming. Yeah, it's rum, it's rum. How much? Pour an ounce. It's mm -hmm. very hard to see from where you are. Tiny bit more. We don't want to be cheap. <laughs> now what I have to do, well I don't have to, but I find it makes absorption easier, is poke holes into each of the cakes. This is very labor intensive. It is. And then carefully pour. Don't waste it. <gasps> The rum. Now the good news is, you see those drops that have fallen over the side? Yes. It does get absorbed into the cake. I kind of just move them around like that. So none of it is wasted. Moni, these are your nuttier than a fruit cake creation. That's it. This is these are the two products that I make. This is the totally decadent, and you can see that is a more traditional Christmas fruit cake sold at Christmas time. This is the Okanagan Harvest Cake that can be eaten all year round. Both fruit cakes can be viewed on my website, which is very simply www.fruitcake.ca. Can we try them? Yes. No diet today. Yeah. <laughs> Export. Mm-hmm.